All right, so we have breaking PUBG news. PUBG just revealed so much information to the partners on PUBG's 10th map, Rondo. New features, new items, new weapons. So many things, including a ton of pictures we have to go through of different locations, some things we have not seen at all. This is one of the main ones behind us right here. Um, names of these locations, this is Jadena City. So this is gonna be a longer video and actually my second one today because just earlier today, PUBG revealed their world art trailer and the theme music for this map. And it included a bunch of new pictures and uh, the information about the new weapon or it showed a screenshot of the new weapon, which I posted that video again earlier. But then they said, hey partners, we're dropping all this information. So if you go on social media, um, you'll probably see a lot of PUBG partners posting about it. I made a really awesome thread on Twitter slash X uh, that goes through all that stuff, which I'll link down in the description box below if you just wanna click on that and kind of scroll through it really quick, like TLDR, uh, too long, didn't read. Um, but for people that want to see all this stuff in full detail, stick around for this video. We'll have some fun and we'll go through everything. And uh, part of my voice, it's late here. I'm on the East Coast while I'm recording this. Uh, well, I guess it's only nine o'clock, but I normally don't record videos this late. All right. So first and foremost, PUBG included this document, which I think they're allowing us to share. I mean, all the information they said they could share here. Um, in the past, PUBG would share these briefings with us, but then tell us, you know, we can't share this until a certain date or you can't share this document. But now PUBG is pretty open and they said, here you go, share everything with uh, your followers or viewers or community. So this is the new map introduction. So we'll go through this kind of line by line. Um, they have information on all of the different cities, not all of them, but like, you know, a, a handful of them. But this is something you guys want to see right away. Um, it's the key new features and something that's really important. So let's zoom all the way in on this so you guys can see, because this is what's important. We have the new weapon, which again, we saw in the earlier trailer. They didn't say what gun it was, but we figured it out on stream today. Um, shout out to the community, twitch.tv slash what's five and friends. So there's a new SMG coming into the game. This is a Chinese rifle. It's the JS nine. And apparently this is a variant of another gun called like a QWC dash O five, which is kind of like a QBZ, which is kind of like a type 95, but this is the SMG variant. And this is going to be exclusive to Rondo. If you guys want more information about that, you can like Wikipedia, the gun, you know, PUBG does a really good job of bringing these, um, you know, guns to, to into the game, they they really follow the gun and what it looks like and a lot of its features. So always really cool. And this is positioned to be one of the top weapons in the game. They said low recoil and high bullet velocity. I would imagine this is going to be just like the MP9 on Destin. Then this came out of nowhere. Was not expecting this. This is a new weapon, a stun gun. It shoots out like two things and they hit the person. So who knows? It's still going to be, I'm guessing, a close range thing. I don't know the distance of a stun gun in real life, um, but this is something not expected. I'm guessing this is going to take up a weapon spot. Um, it's going to have to be pretty powerful to um, have someone skip using a gun. Like, you know, you, you run into someone using a barrel. The stun gun has to work like immediately to stop someone from shooting you with a barrel. And uh, definitely the first kind of weapon of this kind in PUBG for sure. So it's interesting. Then we have a new vehicle. This is called the, the Blanc or the Blank. I'm going to call it Blanc. And this is a U.S. faster than the current U.S. model, of course, and exclusive to uh, Rondo. And then this was really interesting. I led with this on Twitter that there's going to be an additional starting plane. This is something that people, including myself, have theorized forever. Like, why not put this into the 8x8 maps? And yes, this is an 8x8 map. Um, so there's a chance of an additional starting plane. I guess it's not always going to be possible, allowing for more diverse strategies. Players are assigned to planes randomly. So I guess you just, if it was a squad, your whole squad would be on that plane. That would be crazy if it's not the case for squads. And the flight paths of these planes are designed to intersect, ensuring dynamic encounters. And what's cool about this is, I mean, honestly, it would almost be cool if they didn't intersect because then you could have a plane going like on the bottom of the map and a plane going on the top of the map, ensuring that more people kind of spread out. Um, but either way, I mean, I guess this is fine and they can test it out and, and, and go from there. I'm sure they've done a few tests internally. Um, we'll see. And then they have mid-level escalator. Um, so enable swift direction movement for strategic positioning adds a new layer of combat capable of moving various objects, enhancing interactive gameplay. This bottom line, I think is more interesting than it may lead on to because you get escalators, right? You get on the escalator, you get on and move faster up or down or left or right or whatever. But what other objects, because I, I can't imagine a vehicle moving on an escalator 
right? Because it wouldn't be big enough unless these are giant escalators. So are we going to have some kind of like movable items in this game? Because you have the bike you could put down on something, but you usually can't put it on a surface that's like moving or, or tilted. Same thing with the deployable shield. So will we see like more movable boxes in the game? Um, you know, honestly, that might be a theory because PUBG allegedly is bringing in a Metal Gear Solid collaboration. And famously in Metal Gear, Metal, Metal Gear Solid, you could hide under a box and move around. So maybe there's going to be like movable boxes in this version of Rondo. I don't know, because they said there's more to come. Um, so we'll see. That's a conspiracy theory or just a theory, but uh, just an idea, I guess I should say. Not a conspiracy. Um, then we have jukebox and fireworks. They're going to have interactive fireworks that you can shoot off before the game and in the game. And then they don't do any damage. The jukebox is going to be like similar to the things you might find on Erangel, the little, uh, there's like record players on Erangel, but this is going to be a jukebox that has a visual upgrade and has more new tracks, um, compared to the one on Erangel. And then the next level animals added to the game. We already have chickens, frogs, and the bears on Vikendi. So now we're going to have birds and fish. And they included um, the birds in the trailer, um, which if you want to see that, that's in the previous video. Uh, the birds were chirping in some of the, the, the buildings. So maybe if you go loot in there, it will throw, you know, maybe they start chirping, um, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure how the fish will come into play. Maybe just make the game look more realistic. So those are the new features. The big takeaway would be the starting plane, new vehicle, stun gun, and SMG. And then let's go back to, um, we'll have this kind of as our background right now as we go through a bunch of the pictures. So I'm going to make my camera a little smaller and uh, let's welcome in Jadena City. Opened up two of these. So here's a view from the other side. Well, I should mention, first of all, take a look at this original photo. I mean, this is it, big city, but what's going on in the background here? Is this just gonna be in the background and not playable? Or is that playable? Cause that looks considerably larger than the city we're looking at right here. This looks like a really fun city to land in because it's open, uh, but also a lot of high rises. I feel like this is more digestible. Some of those huge cities like in Destin, like Ripton, the largest city ever, it's just, a maze of buildings. So to me, this looks a lot more fun to land in. And then if I can reopen these photos, here we go. This is a view from the other side. So it's connected to this little area as well. This is going to be a fun drop and holding the outside kind of bridges here. Definitely like a choke point. Some very Tago esque buildings with the city old and the new. And then if we go back here, we have this other view, which shows kind of the outside of the city with some of these tankers here. And uh, you can see a little bit of the terrain on the outside. There you go. All right. Then next we have, this is Jiao Tin. Going to open up a lot of pictures here today, so I'll do my best to keep this organized. Jiao Tin, this kind of reminds me of like a Go Dock kind of like random city in Tego. You have the basketball courts here. A lot of those scattered buildings close together. This almost looks like an embassy building or like a school building you'd see on um, Tago as well. What's nice is there's a cool water feature on the side, which I think another video or picture shows you more of that. And then check out the background. Very kind of Tago-esque. Tago -esque. You know, I'm already thinking people are going to take emergency pickup onto these hills. and It's going to be really frustrating. We'll see. This also looks like very kind of typical, maybe like rice fields kind of like a Chinese or uh, a location you would find in China. So again, this is Jiao Tin. And here's an additional picture of that water feature in the back. And here is that building up close. They showed this in the trailer. So there has to be something kind of meaningful about this building. Then next up, we have another city. This is actually, let's skip it. Let's go to something more exciting. This is the stadium because I know people will probably click away as time goes on. So I want to show you guys the more exciting things first, I suppose. Uh, so stick around. Here's a top view of the stadium. We have not seen a stadium like this in PUBG. This reminds me of like playing Call of Duty Blackout. I think had the stadium. One of the first ones that I played. Really one of the only Call of Duty uh, <laughs> battle rails I played. And then, oh, here's two more angles. Excuse me. Let's go back. 
So here's kind of the front lower level. You see kind of double level stairs going in there. And then here's a view from inside Got the track and then kind of concert vibes with this thing going on here. And it looks like they're promoting some kind of, uh, in the trailer, it looked like there was signs of like people running. So some kind of like running or marathon going on in the city. I don't know if that will connect to something else, but some kind of thing they're advertising there. Then this is a location that was featured a lot. Kind of the first images we saw of Rondo was this city with the pagodas or temples here. And then the waterfall in the back, PUBG kind of showed this a few times with some um, rainbows. Here's a more brightened HD picture of this. But again, very Tego-esque, right? So some people are already on Twitter saying like, hey, this is so similar to Tego. But I think there's going to be a lot of terrain and we can't really judge until we play the whole map. But I do know that these areas can be kind of frustrating, right? Because you hot drop here, then people are here, emergency pick up onto these spots and then are just watching over you the entire game. Uh, I wonder how that's going to play. You know, this, we'll see. That seems like it could be a little bit of a trap. But this water area, and, and the water areas look like they're going to be really, really cool. I feel like they've done a good job kind of adding that in. Um, this looks great. I mean, quality-wise, oh, here we go. Some fish. I didn't even see this. <laughs> I didn't see this originally. Maybe some koi fish. Uh, that's cool. There you go. That's funny. I'll have to remember that and maybe post that on Twitter. Again, twitter.com slash blitz5 or x.com slash blitz5. If you guys aren't following already. Here's another city. This is called... All right, so this is Yulin. I just had to close out of a few things. Again, very similar vibes to the city we just looked at. Honestly, I think I've kind of gotten confused between the two and other images maybe before. So I apologize on that. Again, you can see in the background, a lot of these structures, rock formations. Ooh, I'm seeing some windmills in the back that I didn't see before. But yeah, this one looks cool too. I'm not seeing a little bit of water here in the middle. Again, hard to kind of differentiate them like it from this level. Kind of going to be like Palace and Buck Sansa, I guess, on uh, Tego. I honestly, I don't know what you guys think. I know there might be some negative thoughts coming out there because this is so similar to the other one. But um, I actually majorly prefer to fight in these kind of areas than compared to um, dense cities. I just feel like you can see people a lot easier when you land in here, right? Like they're normally everything's kind of one story. You can kind of grasp where people are pretty easily. I like that the terrain is kind of up and down. Um, so to me, I'm actually kind of excited for more locations like this because on Tego, I like to drop at like Bucks and Sound Palace all the time. Those are my favorite uh, drops compared to the city. Then here's an area PUBG showed this in one of the first trailers that there's going to be this bamboo, which is going to be probably the newest dynamic in PUBG fighting. Cause you're going to be able to see people, but not really shoot at them. I'm guessing unless the bamboo breaks because the odds of you hitting somebody through like a spray here is going to be pretty low. I mean, maybe a few bullets, but the, the, um, they're pretty narrow, you know, with all the bamboo here. So this is just one location surrounded by bamboo, but I'm really hoping that there's more here. I mean, this would be a cool spot for like a secret room, honestly, surrounded by all this bamboo. It'd be pretty sweet. And then I never kind of zoomed in here. I guess this is going to be like what some of the smaller compounds look like. Um, water. I'm really hoping for a lot of water on this map. Um, we haven't seen the actual map layout yet, but I just feel like uh, more water would be cool. But then again, it does create problems in PUBG and they never really added in like newer boats or anything like that. But they probably could have done like a took shy version of a boat and made like small, quick boats, right? That would be kind of cool. Um, just thinking this on the fly, like kind of the motorcycle version of a boat, right? Like if these were kind of different, had a little motor on them, like a little speed boat to kind of zip around would kind of be pretty sweet. Uh, but in any case, this is another location. Um, ooh, suspicious content blocked. This is May Ran. And this is a cool city, cool little, it's not a city, a little town because it's got water flowing through it. Little vendors here, some cool lights. I think this is a great image, right? This is one of the cooler ones with the water leading into the town. Um, definitely a cool one. I really like those images. Looks like it's going to be a really pretty map to play on. And it does look like some areas have some fog. I don't know if that's just in the background or for these pictures or if that's a thing. Um, but it looks like there's some kind of overcast or fog in certain areas. 
And I'm trying to see what else we missed. Okay, here's another cool city. This is Rin Jiang. Let's take a look at this. This building looks really cool. Immediately kind of reminds me of like hospital drop on Erangel, but doesn't look like that at all, obviously. Very kind of traditional looking building. Floating restaurant. I think this is going to be a sick hot drop and it says uh, su superb here. Let's take a look at the kind of surrounding area. Um, but take a look at this. So this building is attached to this city or town and kind of interesting new building design here. Like two story level houses with garages and then an awesome restaurant on the outside. So, you know, people are going to be hot dropping probably at this restaurant. I would just imagine. Right. And then this is cool. Some sailboats, this water area looks massive. So I'm really hoping that this is interesting over here and let's see if we can notice anything else. Some, some shipyard, um, billboards I'm seeing. These might be the windmills. Sometimes they don't load in when they take screenshots. So this might be like the windmill area. And uh, there you go. There's a little billboard like we saw on Destin. So very Destin and Taco like. Just making sure we got through everything. You guys saw the bamboo, Jadena City, J10. And then the last one here would be the Neox factory. This is where they make the blank or blanc vehicle production. PUBG was supposed to include more pictures of this, but they weren't loading. So I don't know if that was just on me or on them. Um, but apparently inside there's going to be a vehicle test track and industrial zone providing a variety of experiences. So looks kind of like the military base, like ATC building right here, but just maybe a security building. And this kind of looks like a fun drop as well and kind of changes up the environment a little bit. So Again, here you go. Just to put a face to the name, here's kind of uh, a lot of the concept art PUBG's been showing. The uh, temple area, pagodas with the stadium in the background and the city. I mean, this is just a cool video, the, a cool picture with the rainbow. So I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of rain or overcast event going on that they're kind of, um, kind of hinting at there. Then we have 8x8, Modern Cities, Nature. Again, Jadena City. Just as a reminder, we have Rin Jang. Waterfront restaurants, Yulin, the Neox Factory, Stadium, Tin Long Garden, and then the new stuff that I featured at the beginning of the video. At the end here, they just say that there's future updates inbound for Rondo, and the launch is just the beginning. PUBG famously already always does a thing where they'll launch a map and then the next update or two, they'll bring in even more new features. They kind of staggered a little bit. So what's interesting for that is, you know, what else are they going to be bringing? And what does this mean? I just took this as like the map is under construction, but I don't know exactly what these things are. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have an idea, if you made it this far. Um, but again, I'm thinking there's going to be some kind of movable objects in Rondo coming into the game. If not, during launch then in one of the next updates that's my kind of guess would love to hear what you guys think thanks for sticking around for this video going over all the rondo stuff as always thank you all for watching on blitz 5 and peace out